Hello, I'm Matthew Bielmont, and welcome to another Trailer Reaction Videos. Today, we're going to look at the French Dispatch. Now, Wes Anderson, let me tell you, he's one of the most celebrated filmmakers of all time. And from what I know, he made such films as, hold on, let me think. Oh yeah, The Life Aquatic with Steve Cizou, Steve Cizou. Uh, Island of the Dogs, The Fantastic Mr. Fox, the Grand Budapest Hotel, the Royal Tenenbaums. Yep, that's all I know. So, his latest film is called The French Dispatch. And let me just tell you, I know he has done, he has done a lot of tropes in his works. In his works, there's like these various tropes, like uh, the text on the screen that appears when a letter is read, an homage to Peanuts. The usage of stop motion, an homage to those Ray Harryhausen films and Rankin Bask because hmm, I'm surprised that he's not only a stop-motion buff, specifically a Ray Harryhausen fan, but a Peanuts fan too. Hmm, pretty surprised there. I like them both. And also his work is like a painting, a simple painting. They have these strong colors, these various colors that like almost dominate the film or the scene of the frame. It's like a painting mixed with a photograph, mixed with uh, a miniature diorama and uh, also with a shade of dollhouse as well so that's my thoughts on it and clearly this is a good film which is the French Dispatch wait a minute I haven't reviewed the trailer yet I'm getting ahead of myself here I don't know whether it's good or not but dang Wes Anderson has all these great tropes even got Reference and parodies in such films as The Simpsons, Family Guy, and Paddington Turkey. I know it's Paddington Bear, but it was a bad film, so it's like called Paddington Turkey. So, anyway, here's Wes Henderson's latest film, The French Dispatch. So organized. Sazerac, Cremens, Roebuck, Wright. These were his people. Just try to make it sound like you wrote it that way on purpose. We take as the subject of tonight's lecture, Mr. Moses Rosenthal, certainly the loudest, artistic voice of his rowdy generation. Simone naked cell block J hobby room. I want to buy it. Adrian Brody. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. 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 yes. In short. The picture was a sensation. <laughs> the kids did this. Obliterated a thousand years of Republican authority in less than a fortnight. Feels Frank Franco Fellini like. Full stop. <laughs> I'm naked, Mrs. Cremens. I can see that. Lieutenant Nescafe is the great exemplar of the mode of cuisine known as police cooking. The aromas of the kitchen cast a spell, which was to be mortally broken. As you know by now, we have kidnapped your son. Nicky Del Toro, Andrew Brody, Owen Wilson. What is this, a Max Senate film? One hour to press. You're fired. Really? Don't cry in my office. <laughs> no crying. Okay, so 
some that scene where one guy busts into the wall on one side, the other guy busts into a wall on the other side, it feels like a Max and a comedy, and it also feels like uh, some sort of painting in some fashion. It's very organized and artistic, and it feels like a comic strip in some f form of another. For example, where Bill Murray says, no crying in my office, and the camera pans off, pans up and says, the sign says, no crying up there. <laughs> That's good. So we have Bill Murray, Owen Wilson, Benicio Del Toro, Adrian Brody. What a cast! And they appear in those uh, other previous uh, films with that are directed by Wes Anderson. So I'm saying that it's a good film. Give it a watch. It's a wonderful work of art. And I predict it's going to be rated R or something because, I don't know, let me guess, nudity? Possible nudity, I guess. Language? Oh, yes. Get ready for that F word. I mean, if the F word is spoken nearly three times, it's going to get a hard R. So, this is Matthew B. Lamont saying, don't forget to like, subscribe, and have a nice day. Stay home, stay safe, and stay healthy.